Hey everyone, this is Emily. I am in southeastern Wisconsin and I figured while I'm in this area, I would try to find a snake that's been on my bucket list for several years now, the Butler's Garter Snake. Now this snake was on the endangered species list up until 2014 when it was delisted, but don't get me wrong, this is still a rare snake in the state of Wisconsin, but it's so unique, which is why I wanna find one, and I'll share with you why it's so special if I can find one. So have your fingers crossed for me, and let's see if we can find a Butler's Garter Snake. Proper herping gear consists of pants and close-toed shoes. I am obviously not appropriately dressed for this, but it's all I have, so we're gonna hope it works. The butler's garter's preferred habitat are open fields, prairies, and savannas. So this ideally should be the perfect habitat for them. I found one. What were you? This one's obviously dead. Um, oh, look at that. That was a butler's garter, too. You can see the stripe, lateral stripe, occurs on the upper half of row two and all of row three and part of row four. That was a, that was a butler's. That's a shame. At least it means they're here, though. Oh my gosh, guys, I've got, I got a garter, yes! Oh, you're so wiggly. Okay, what is it? You are on scale rows two, three, and four. You are a butler's garter snake. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I found one. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting these to be such like short, stout snakes. Oh my gosh, yes! I can't believe it. I just found a butler's garter snake. This is so cool. I actually wasn't expecting to find one, but look at this. Now, one of the many cool things about this snake is that they are Wisconsin's smallest species of garter snake. There are five species overall in Wisconsin, and this is they, these only get about 15 to 20 inches long max. So that is a very, very small little petite garter snake. And although the other species of garter snakes in this area eat things like small uh, vertebrates like rodents and birds. This garter snake specializes in eating earthworms. It's been found that about 83% of its diet consists of earthworms, which is interesting because earthworms are an introduced species to this area and they originate from Europe. So scientists are kind of wondering what their diet consisted of prior to the introduction of earthworms in this area. And we don't know. We honestly don't know. Right now it's July, so it's actually birthing season, if you want to call it that, for the butler's garter snake. These will come out of hibernation in early spring, usually after a heavy rain, and they will breed in April and May, and so July through September is when they're giving birth. So are you a male or a female? I think. This one, to me, based on how quickly that tail tapers, I'm assuming that this one is a female. If it was a male, then the base would be quite thick and it would extend further than just tapering off right away here because the males, that's where their hemipenes are stored. So this one I think is a little girl. She has a little bit of growing still to do, but she's well on her way to becoming a nice breeding mature adult. Even though this is a small species of garter snake, they definitely do not lack in their capabilities to musk you just as much as their larger cousins, it seems. Because my goodness, do my hands smell bad thanks to you. But it's okay, you're really cute. You can get away with it. Now with five different species of garter snakes in Wisconsin, you might be wondering, how do you tell them apart? Well, this one is, I mean, other than this being the smallest species of them all, which going by size isn't really a good idea. It's not very reliable because this could be a butler's garter snake or it could be a young plains garter snake. So 
really you don't want to go by size. You want to look for other signs. And in the case of garter snakes, you typically look at their lateral line, which is the line running down their side. With Twiggy, my common garter snake at home, their lateral line occurs on the upper half of scale row one. It also includes scale row two and scale row three. Whereas with the butler's garter snake, their lateral line starts on the upper half of scale row two, and it also includes all of scale row three and sometimes the lower half of scale row four. Now, like I was kind of mentioning earlier, the butler's garter snake is unique in Wisconsin in that it has its own distinct population in Wisconsin that's separated from pretty much the rest of this species population in the Midwest. There's just this small little pocket in southeastern Wisconsin, and since I'm staying here for a little while, I figured I'd, eh, I'd try my luck, go out, try to find one. And I found one! I can't believe it! This girl looks to be in really good shape, too. I can't find a single scratch or blemish on her scales. She has her entire tail. She is doing quite well for herself. Now, being such a small species of garter snake, they have a very unique relationship with crayfish. They rely on the prairie, the white river, and the devil crayfish to dig out tunnels or burrows that the garter snake will use. They'll use these burrows for not only a place to retreat into if they're feeling threatened or chased by a predator, but also a place to hang out in and cool off during the warm parts of the day. And they use these crayfish burrows or tunnels as a place to hibernate in during the winter. Since the butler's garter snake lives very close and has overlapping ranges with the uh, common garter snake and plains garter snake, it's actually been found to hybridize with them naturally in the wild. And you know, it happens, it's just nature. We do worry a little bit that since we have such an isolated population of the butler's garter snake here in Wisconsin, by hybridizing we lose the genetic uniqueness of this species since it gets mixed with others. But nature is nature and if it's gonna happen, then it's gonna happen. The butler's garter snake was an endangered species in the state of Wisconsin up until 2014 when the DNR removed it from the endangered and threatened species list. Now it's just considered a species of special concern, which sounds good, but there's controversy about that because there's a lot of herpetologists and other researchers who think that this snake is not stable enough to be taken off of those lists. Because if a snake is considered a threatened or endangered species, it has a whole list of protections and laws regarding it. Like you can't develop buildings in areas that are known home sites for endangered species. So with the butler's garter snake being taken off of that list in 2014, they no longer have those protections. So there's some debate on whether it should have been taken off the threatened species list or not already, but it is what it is. And the best thing we can do for this species is just preserve what habitat they have left and try to restore some of their habitat. So if you're driving by and you see signs that says wetland restoration project, those are excellent because they promote the growing of populations of species like butler's garter snakes. Of course, developers are very happy that they were taken off that list because now they can develop in areas they couldn't before, which is not a good thing because habitat loss and fragmentation is the main reason why these were not doing well in the first place. Oh my gosh, this little garter snake is so stinking cute. You are adorable. You're just looking right up at the camera, aren't you? I love you. Ah! So we are going to release this girl back into the wild, of course, right where we found her, which was by this big bur oak tree. I'm gonna let her go so she can enjoy her little snaky day. Thank you everybody for joining me today and watching today's video about one of Wisconsin's rarest species of snake. I am so stoked that I actually found a butler's garter snake. It must be beginner's luck or something. I'd also like to thank all of our amazing Patreon supporters for backing this channel. And we're gonna let this little girl go, and we'll see you next time. All right, little girl. Here you go. Go enjoy your little snake. Where did you go? You just disappeared. All right, goodbye. And they special at... <sighs> I'd rather you not sting me, fly. Okay, thank you. Now, even though this is a smaller smee- smeecies? I wasn't actually expecting to catch one of these.